Did you just get this light on your Keurig machine? Let's see how to do the operation for this scanning the water. It's like cleaning out the filter. So, so what you have to do, you have to plug off and plug in again. And you see there are no lights on it. Then you keep 10 and 6 pressed at the same time. Until the 8 flashes. You see that? They both flash. Now you press eight. And the machine is gonna do the rest. It's just gonna run the water. Of course, make sure you have enough water inside. More than half should be fine. The machine is just running the water. Probably, I don't know, keep making it really, really hot. Yes, it is hot, but it's always hot. <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna do probably. But it is working. You just have to make sure that you plug it off so the lights have to be off. If not, the, the, the scale operation is not gonna start. That's the trick. So the water that is here, you, you put in the sink, then you press 8 again, and it's gonna do the... Basically, he has to run the water until here it goes to the minimum, and you're gonna get the add water light on. And then we see what to do next. Okay, you see now it ended and there is add water light. Let's see what to do now. Obviously, just throw away this water. Now you have to get the tank off and fill it completely up to the max. Fill it with water and put it back in. Now I put full water. When I put it in again, it starts to blink the eight. So you press the eight again. And right now it's just flushing the water through the through the machine and that's what it has to do there is also a scaling liquid that you can put into the water when you do the first part of the cleaning you can buy that online or in the stores that they have Kirk. but right now i didn't have it so i just did it like that it should work the same because my machine is pretty new and the water here is really soft so you should not have too much to clean let's see what happened Okay, so now I did the eight, and it's still flash. So we keep going. So you empty your cup, and you keep going until the light turns off, because that's the, the process. 
The machine is checking the flow through the, the filtration system. Actually, this machine doesn't have a filter to remove, at least an easy access filter because it's a simple one. That's the cheapest Keurig you can find in the market. You probably buy it at Walmart for 50 bucks or even less. And also in the other stores like Target, they also have it. So it's a really basic machine. It's really good when you have to take it with you. I even have one that is only half. You don't have the reservoir, you just put water in the back here and you just take it on the go in case you want to have your coffee with you and if you like it. Of course, you're not going to take it in the airplane, but if you drive by car, you can do it. Okay, so let's see what happened next. This is the second time. And the water here, it's half. So it's going to take probably four the scaling process to make it empty. Okay. Is it gonna make it or not? It depends how clean or dirty is the water and without the descaling liquid that is like a solution to to clean the filter maybe it's not gonna make it. Oh okay just did it so you see all the lights turn off so it means your descaling process is done. You see there's still a little bit of water but it's fine so next time you open and you close it again in this case, you just have to add water, okay, but your machine should be ready. Let's try. Okay, I fill it with water. There is no more light, so you can enjoy. Now I'm going to do just a six. And I'm going to do coffee because I already made it, but just to show that everything works again. So in your case, if you have your coffee pot inside, you're going to make your coffee regularly. And your water should be super clean. Well... It always depends on the quality of the water you have in your house. If you put bottled water, it's probably gonna last more. We use filtra filtra filtration water, yeah, from the fridge. We have the filter inside, but it's getting through the city water. And I don't know, probably the machine saw, saw some deposit of limestone inside. And that's why it's giving the alarm, probably. We're going to see next time we're going to get the alarm again. Goodbye.